Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I have decided to fight off the virus that I have by donning the holy armor of Nick Mokte. And of course, as you are fully aware, to activate the armor, I must blow the horn that was passed down generationally, some believe conceived by the gods, yes. A musical instrument that was actually conceived by the gods. Which, of course, is known as Unachtheo. To activate the armor and give it its blessed justice. Truly, there is no sweeter sound in the universe than this blessed horn. Whew. Sorry, I kind of got a little emotional about that. Anywho, now that that's been done, uh, let's get on to the uh, topic of the video, which of course is the absolute catastrophe that is the uh, Star Wars crowdfunding. Crowdfunding's a big thing at the moment. I know a guy who's doing real well. Really, really well. Better than Star Wars well. But I do want to, before I get into it all, I do want to stress that this is no slight whatsoever against Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse. I love Hasbro Pulse. I get all my GI Joes from there. Get some Transformers from there as well. But I do particularly love the idea of Haslabs. And I do particularly love the idea of these seriously uh, collector-orientated objects that they put out there for funding. And uh, normally, because we're going to have a look through it all, normally, of course, they, they do get funded. But on a couple of instances... They don't. What a weird one. Uh, so, look, I mean, look at this. Coming uh, August, if or autumn, I should really say, fall. If you're American, mm, there will be lots of water drinking for my throat. I can't keep a voice for too long, I'm afraid. They're actually going to create this thing called Selfie Series. Where you can graphically pop onto your one in six gi joe ghostbusters power ranger marvel some small independent company uh your own face which is uh pretty amazing unfortunately i i'm not gonna be able to do it because it's in the uh us only so uh you know a little bit racist but you know these are great little ideas that they have but let's have a look at a tweet by them. And again, this is no shade to Hasbro Pulse. We all know where the shade falls here. Unfortunately, the Star Wars The Black Series... Why well, can't be black? Reaver, the third sister. Reaver, of course, that most popular of character from Kenobi. Reaver, of course, the, the Star Wars Twitter account themselves tweeted out saying... We are so excited to see how Reaver's story unfolds. Well, first of all, uh, from the very first scene of the very first episode, it was clear what Reaver's story was. And then it made no f***ing sense. And uh, she made no f***ing sense. And unfortunately, the actress, sorry, just wasn't up to the task. Uh, they were not good in the role uh, whatsoever. A needless character getting in the way of what people genuinely wanted, which was a story between Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Reaver third sister Force FX lightsaber did not reach the minimum backing goal needed to move into development. Oopsies. Thank you to all of the fans who supported the project as I spill off what I'm really, really doing. And for every fan who shared their passion and enthusiasm. That's fair enough to 
to Hasbro Pulse, but let's actually see what the, the damage was. Now, let's just move this across. It was really bad. I mean, we're not just talking a little bit unlucky. This was an absolute catastrophe. Just a catastrophe. A catastrophe which shows very clearly from the collector's market the popularity of Star Wars. Or, what I really should say, the popularity of Disney Star Wars. Because when the Jabba Barge went up, it got funded, no problem. But in recent times, we've not seen anything particularly good. So when I looked at this, which, which I believe was 11 days before the campaign was to finish, I think it had 1,298 off the top of my head. I might be missing a couple. But I think I had 1,298 backers. And I said, because this is the normal pattern of when you back a project, they tend to have strong starts. Then they have a, a, a big lull, big lull in the middle, regardless really of what, what the product is. And then they have a strong finish. Because you've got your, we've got to get it. And then you've got your FOMO. However, there was no FOMO here whatsoever. And this is what's very, when I say odd, it doesn't kind of go alongside the way a campaign ends. Let me just bring up this one here. The Black Series Rancor Monster, which also was not funded. If I just bring this up here was not funded by just less than 500. And this had a big spurt towards the end. It was on something like 5,000 backers, 6,000 backers going into the last couple of days or so. And then it had this big spurt at the end, but even the big spurt could not quite get this funded. Going back to... River. There was no, there was no spurt at the end at all. And in actual fact, in the last eleven days of the campaign, the thing got a hundred and fifteen backers. That is mental. So, retailers. They had nothing to bring in because retailers, because there's a, as you can see, limit of five per customer. A, a retailer would pitch it to their collectors. Do you want one? Put down a deposit. They'll now want to do that. There's some people that don't know Hasbro Lab, you know, Hasbro Pulse and Haslabs and shit. None. So there doesn't seem to be any retailer backing coming in at the end here. And their spurt was about 8% of their current, of their total to date in the last 11 days. That is, nobody gave a shit. They didn't, they didn't say, hey, well, you know, I'll get this. I can just use it as an Inquisitor lightsaber. Or, oh yeah, I just want an Inquisitor lightsaber in my collection or a cosplayer. No, no, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody wanted it. And this is 5,000 units. This wasn't asking for particularly that many people to back it. Nothing. And jumping back here. Actually, let's jump back here. The Jabba Barge. I'm using the UK one. There's a couple of extra items on the US one, by the way. Jabba Barge funded. But the Rancor, not funded. And I know some of you would say, well, Rancor Monsters, that's Return of the Jedi. That's, that's you know, the Star Wars that people are meant to like. Yeah. One of the things that probably knocked the Rancor Monster out of contention was the price. It's about £350, and people just deem that too much. 
And even though they deemed it too much, very nearly got funded. Very nearly got funded, but just not quite. This uh this this is uh this is a nowhere close. This is a nowhere gives a shit. This is a nowhere gives a shit. Now let's uh bring you back into the uh, equation. Woo! This is the uh, one active campaign that they have going on at the moment. G.I. Joe, the Cobra Hiss, the one in six classified. And uh, this required 8,000 backers. And it did it in its first day. And it also hit the first uh, stretch goal in the first day of funding. Now... It's got double the minimum amount of backers. It's got 16,343. It's activated every single stretch goal. Every single stretch goal is now unlocked for this. And you tell me which is the bigger brand, Star Wars or G.I. Joe? It's G.I. Joe every day. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. You go out into the streets, you say, which... Which brand's bigger, Star Wars or G.I. Joe? Star Wars. So now, with this, which is, again, still quite an expensive item. It's £300. But you get the basic, which is the Hiss and the Driver. But now you get extra weaponry, extra tracks, OG, Canapé an extra gunner, an extra driver in the original colors, missiles, and you get a Cobra Commander OG as well. One in six, all this, not one in six, uh, all this because of these stretch goals which have been hit. Why do I think this is the case? I legitimately think, as I've stressed before, there is no interest from collectors in current Star Wars. None. Particularly from weak ass characters. Now, if it was Obi Wan's lightsaber, I think I'm. I think I'm, these. My arm is drawing blood. This is great. Now, if this was something to do with an OG character like Darth Vader or, or Obi Wan Kenobi. Regardless of whether it be you and McGregor or Sir Sir Alec Guinness, that's still way more recognisable because of the OG trilogy and obviously the prequel fans. But even that, we don't know, because they stuck up Reaver's lightsaber, and as you may or may not know, Reaver was meant to. Uh, the spoilers turn me off if you don't want to know. Reaver was meant to die. In Kenobi, but she didn't. Why? Because Disney Plus have now... Not that it really matters if people die. Disney uh, have now kind of opened the door for a series of her own. Because they want to prop up their weak-ass characters that nobody gives a shit about by sacrificing the characters that people do. So to push this Reaver story, which was just fucking bollocks... And also stolen from Rebels. And you could probably say partly as well from the uh, Jedi Fallen Order. They sacrificed Kenobi, whose show it was, and Darth Vader. And upcoming in the Marvel Universe, you've got the Echo TV show. Who gives a shit about the Echo TV show? Well, guess who's going to be in the Echo TV show? Daredevil and Kingpin. Daredevil and Kingpin are going to prop up fucking Echo. Who could possibly fucking care? Because that's where we are nowadays, folks. We're not giving fans what they want. We are receiving the intersectionality of the corporations and they can shove it up the wazoo. And a very, very clear message was given to Disney with the Reaver lightsaber we don't care. We don't want it. Piss off. See you in the next video. Bye for now.